This is a moment where we're poised on the edge of the third age of nuclear weapons. Uh, the Soviet Union produced over a hundred briefcase-sized nuclear weapons. Approximately 50 of those are unknown where they are at present. There are 5,000 warheads that are in a state of immediate readiness in the world. How do you use new technology? How do you use co connectivity? How do you use distributed everything um, to get new thinking into this arena? Sensor networks are just going to be everywhere. The data streams that come off of these sensor networks Many of these data streams are going to become publicly available. We've got to effectively monitor now a, a globe um, between uh, humans and um, AI systems. And over the next 30 years, we're going to have to increasingly um, monitor uh, a more complex globe. We trust our machines more than we trust our own judgment. And I don't trust our machines uh, anymore. Just, be, just because there are more of them doesn't mean that they're any smarter. Well, each age has a new hidden risk. And it feels like the hidden risk here is the tension between imperfect humans and imperfect but ever more autonomous machines. We really have to pay attention to this interface between the machines and, and humans. And I, I find that heartening because that's a very solvable problem. I think no matter what technology we have in place, if we don't have our best human decision making at work, we're going to fail. Just like uh, guns and and bullets don't kill people, it's the shooter that kills the people. And the same sort of analogy might be applied to nuclear power, nuclear weapons, it's how these things are handled and not uh, the technology itself.